Well, these are the days to cut time short through God's very best gift unto mankind, which is the spirit of prophecy, which is the revelation of the Lord God's mercy upon us. For we should not be worried about World War uh, Three too much, and yet if we don't run, then we're in trouble. Because this vision has been written for the appointed time at the end, plainly on the tablets, so all those would run. Uh, that doesn't mean literally run. Act. That, so that it's time for action. And so, praise the Lord. These are the days of uh, Ukraine's prophecies coming true. It is uh, written that there was a lady, a nun, in 1966, Pelagia Zakharovskaya, and that nun said in the future that they would hate, people would hate Russians, and they would want to get rid of them all by any means, and that they would choose the Antichrist, the beast thereof, Vladimir, uh, would be his name, the king of the north, who overcomes the king of the south, in uh, the word of God, Daniel 11 and 12. It is of he that he raises the Kodiak, uh, foaming at the mouth, rabid, bear, angry, who is chewing on three ribs, Daniel 7, 5, which are Crimea, and the two he just annexed. And then that uh, great bear would be told to go, feed, feast on all the flesh that you would like. So we must take this serious. There was an elder who prophesied a war, the world war, uh, in which Russia would experience many difficulties. The Russian Federation would lose at first, uh, but then there would be its rebirth as people would not lose heart and ultimately Russia would win. And this is a split prophecy. You see, uh, you have to bo uh, prophesy both ways. Baba Vanga did that. She saw that uh, Vladimir could become the king of leading people to love, or he can end up being thrown into the pit because of his unforgivable sin, which is foretold in the Bible. So I guess I better go with that one. But one thing for sure, Archbishop uh, Theophanes in 1940, he predicted the resurrection also of Russia from the dead. Rasputin is the most important prophet. I'm going to be focusing so hard on Rasputin because he tells uh, uh, Russia that in these last days they will cause the utter destruction of themselves and all of Russia will be as a graveyard if they will not relent and stop and turn around. He says that the evil cat Putin would chase the rats and the rats will become the mice and the mice will eat the cat. So he foresaw the faith in Christ through, uh, as uh, Rasputin put it, in the days of the czar guardian angel preaching with the sign of the evangelist over the world, that they would become stronger and God himself would choose a wise ruler of that superpower. So there are accurate good prophecies if they decide that. You see, at Nineveh, God told no, Jonah, go tell them you're going to be destroyed in 40 days, and they did not. They relented. So whenever prophecy is coming forth, there is a if. This is going to happen if this. This is going to happen if that. If, big little word uh, for all people of the Ukraine, this is your psychological weapon that Trump uh, has been saying that we need in this world. And I invite all Ukrainians, Polish, Romanians, everyone threatened by Putin, which is just about every day, everybody. He's threatening Denmark, Finland, and uh, Sweden now. And uh, so take these videos, push them into Russia. Uh, uh, put it into the Russian language. Uh, use, use anything, materials that I have gathered there is no copyright, people, not not for something like this. The world needs a weapon, and this is that weapon. So uh, it is foretold that uh, Russia would lose big time, and they would become the sphincter of the world. 
after the king of the north cut the world a new one and they would end up being the ass if they do not change if they will not beat their sword into the sickle and it is written that Theodosius Kukazin in 1948 he, he claimed that the third world war would be one thing Russia and I'm not making this stuff up look it up yourself and that the whole world would take arms up against the Russians uh, but uh, they would be able to withstand. Daniel says that in Daniel 11 that they will have to go back to Moscow, regroup. And I want to point something out to you. There is the uh, conditionality of the prophecy being able to go either way. It seems like a, con a contradiction in Daniel, but it's not. Um, it says, and then he will be found no more, which is a future of being... Uh, assassinated when the cats turn uh, when the rats turn into mice and eat the cat it would be an assassination but yet it foretells his end in another way if people won't act so there's two views what will happen if this and what will happen if that and if uh, Russia would turn around uh, the future could be even more glorious than imagined but unfortunately, we are going towards the future that will unfold exactly as it is written. So he prophesied that the formation of Russia would become very powerful, strong, and enemies would reckon with her. And uh, another uh, person with the word of love in their mouth for Ukraine and Russia was a man by the name of Lavrenti. Shergovowski, in 1950, uh, Lavrenti predicted a nuclear conflict which would also be associated with Russia, which will have great losses, but in the but it will not die to the end, and that the main ally of Russia would be Belarus, and that is exactly what we are seeing so far. So, in the mouth of all these people, they're all in agreement. There was another, uh, Vorarlberg, the seer, the Vorarlberg seer. He was a farmer in the county in Germany, uh, in uh, Lacan, Brenz. And in 1922, he had a series of visions. And these prophecies were tr transcribed by Benedictine friar and transcribed uh, in the following uh, decades into texts. Uh, and here we come to the prediction of war triggered by Russia. Uh, so it's time to realize what restoration of all things mean in uh, Matthew 17, 11. It is the restoration of prophecy because only time can be cut short by prophecy. And that is what Christ predicted in Matthew 24, 22. For if the, these days were not cut short by his prophetic word flowing through the mouths of many witnesses, uh, there would be no flesh that could be spared, Christ said in Matthew 24, 22. So he said, uh, uh, the Vorarlberg seer, he said, the crime shall come suddenly from Russia, and they are already guilty of war crimes against Ukraine. Um, it is very important uh, prophecy. It is written for you, President Zelensky, that you are mounting your horse on the wrong side. I don't know what that means, but it says that God will see you have victory after victory if you do not stand still and see the salvation of love, which is the preferential way to go. But uh, he will be with you and he admires your bravery. Truly, sir, you are a Gideon uh, and you are a David amongst uh, the, the big uh, Goliath. But the Goliath can and was taken down, just as you will cause the retreat of Russia. So, but understand that if you turn and fight, yes, you will have much victory, but there will be much death. And the body count will just begin escalating. Um, Rasputin foretold the battle of slaughter where there would be well over a million people dying. And uh, this is what will come. Uh, if this war is not 
put down quickly. And so it's time that we need to understand that a conflict, he said, would extend beyond the Ukrainian borders. And he said that a risk of the world war would be looming like a bolt, a lightning bolt from out of the blue. And he predicted that Russia would also be marching on Germany and then eventually France and Italy and England. And he noted that the Rhine would be devastated by airplanes and invasion armies. Uh, and he said, uh, and I'm not changing a word, he said the consequences, general corruption, great famine, uh, and that seer added that uh, to make flour, men will use the bark of trees and eat grass in the meadows uh, because the price of corn, wheat, and flour, you won't be able to afford it. And the weather, um, as that prophet said, uh, would separate the world. And, um, and uh, all over the circle of uh, the earth and all over Europe would become forth guillotines and beheaded bodies. And uh, these are not pleasant uh, prophecies, but they must be heard because he predicts nothing but a world where Paris and Rome shall be destroyed like much of the earth, though it shall be very few that survive. This is in accordance with Isaiah 4. There shall be so few men alive that uh, one, uh, one man will be taken by seven women. And uh, Gregory Rasputin wishes he was that guy. <laughs> People, we got to lighten up. There is no good man. No, not even one. Romans 3.10. We have long forgotten that. So it's a time when there is great hope. And uh, because there's a great staggering amount of prophecy. And it all says the same thing. This will bring the truth unto the people of Russia. The truth which is not propaganda. The truth which is the sickle for the harvest. So all may fall at the sickle. Are we locked into doomsday? No. The Bible says this will be considered in the latter days. Jeremiah 30, 24. He says, I will return my terrifying anger. Stop the fast rising great tribulation. If my people of love will just be loving. And so uh, every knee will bow and confess love whom is the Lord. And these will be the days of beating the swords and to sickle into, upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. And upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 25 shall be all shame and guilt removed of all people of the earth. Because God is saying to all of us, to all of you of Ukraine, he's saying, I am with you. I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity. I love you that much. And uh, uh, no one, no Ukraine will ever need, Ukrainian will ever need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord, for all little babies, all people walking as children with their love alive shall know me, and I shall be their Lord. Because those who love are born again and know him, because I am love, says the Lord God, First John 4, 7. And then it came to pass that Nicholas Peter Johannes Steiner, of uh, von Ronsberg, and uh, who uh, lived to 1926, he said this very accurately. I see the time when the whole world will be plowed under. This will be the beginning of the third and the last world war, and everything will be in confusion. I saw a snake. The world, especially England, France, and USA, and England will become bank bankrupt and full of debt. England will be struck by seven plagues when the World War III is at hand and be totally annihilated. So this is a message to England as well. Even though their ground will burn away as, as a, a Russian-led invasion will invade Europe uh, through Turkey and use terrible weapons, this invasion will be stopped by France, in France, by German-American forces uh, Mr. Van Rensburg uh, said, and he actually made a remark that Germany will receive new groundbreaking technology from America that the Germans will use to defeat the Russian invasion, but the USA will be unable to respond in a timely manner because of a severe attack upon their troops, ground, and finances. So, people, you have to understand that it is true that there are many doomsday prophets out there. 
and then there are peace and enlightenment prophets uh, using different exclusive scenarios. Uh, but the truth is one or the other will come and uh, such is causes a prophetic limbo if the hearts of the fathers turn to the children and the hearts of the children turn to the fathers through the everlasting covenant of love given to all flesh, uh, then this world can be saved. And if it will not, if love will not be stirred up, this world will be toast. And so it's time that we realize that after the great war, people will think that peace has arrived after the second world war, but it will only be an interval. But, and then it'll come to pass that the World War III will start and it'll be much more awful than all the preceding ones put together. Rasputin said there would be the battle of slaughter, uh, over one million people killed immediately, instantly. And after the end of the Second Great War, the great universal configuration will come and it will determine everything, uh, wrote uh, that prophet. And he said, uh, he said uh, that means the universal conflagration, that means fire or inferno, the universal fire in days that will literally burn as an oven because the prophecy in Malachi is both literal and both uh, uh, metaphoric depending what happened. But these are the days of a nuclear conflict having been uh, foretold. And uh, he said that gigantic catastroph catastrophes will happen. And then with the open eyes, the nations of the planet will go through these catastrophes. They won't know what is happening. And those who do know, many of those will be silenced. Everything will be far different from before. Uh, and it is written that many places on the earth will be nothing but a great cemetery. The third war will be the end of many nations. The Bavarian land, he said, will be devastated, and the land of Bohemia and the Czech Republic will be cleaned out as by a broom. Over all these places and over the Bohemian mountains will come the Red Army, the Communist Army of Vladimir Putin, the new Vlad the Impaler. And it will come not by the French, but by the Reds, the Red Army. Uh, and after that war begins, there shall be no peace. People will rise brother against brother, and they will fight against each other. The rich and the noble will be killed. And this world war will make people not better, but much worse. So go tell your children and your children's children uh, that they will uh, die in a time to come. Many of them will, if we will not uh, look back up to heaven. Uh, because he is calling each of our name. Um, and, uh, but in these days, uh, our love has turned into a dry plant, as uh, Rasputin said. Religious faith has declined. Priests will, are not respected. People are only intent on eating and drinking, just like in the days of Noah. And I am but another Noah. Spent 20 years writing an everlasting gospel, the flying scroll of the prediction of the Word of God that nobody wanted to hear. In the same way, uh, Noah spent many years building an ark there upon nobody wanted to ride. And so we must uh, believe the Word of God that prophecy can cut time short. Uh, and uh, uh, he said that the red caps will come. People will be hiding in the forest. They'll have to go uh, in exile under the ground once radiation fills the air. And uh, people will love each other uh, if people will end this conflict. They will come to love each other as much as they previously once hated one another. And that is in line with Rasputin's prophecy that the cat, Putin, would chase the rats. The rats would become mice and the mice would eat the cat. Now, I take that as by assassination because Daniel 11 says, and he will be found no more. That is one option. And the other option is his death at a different time. But it is not a contradiction. It is because it is a conditional prophecy. But in this hour of prophecy coming forth, we have to realize that these words were also very accurate. Uh, it is written 
therefore, that before World War III, there, there will be a, a financial collapse in Russia and hyperinflation uh, and civil war between them and their brothers, Ukraine. After that great misfortune began, even more will threat humanity uh, as the rattlesnake rattles its rattle. Uh, and then there'll be a great cycle uh, uh, that will happen. It will c become blood and no hunger, war and disease will rain down and the fire will be seen in the sky followed by a tail of sparks. And uh, you, we cannot ignore either the word of uh, Matthias Stormberger of Bra Bavaria. Uh, for after the end of the Second Great War, he said that that would come, the Third World War, and they would have brand new weapons, uh, weapons that were never invented in the First World Wars. And in one day, more people will die than in all the previous wars together, the battle of slaughter with over a million people uh, dying, as Rasputin says. And the battles will be accomplished with artificial weapons. Giant catastrophes will happen. And with the open eyes of the nations of the planet, uh, we will all have to go through those catastrophes. People won't know what's happening. And those who know, uh, they will be silenced. Everything will be different. And it will be a great cemetery. And he said, and at that time, when the wild hunt comes, uh, it'll come with fire and sulfur roaring over the country. Uh, and there was another Alois Il Myers prediction. And he said already at the beginning of World War III, chemical and biological weapons will be used by Russia. The first atomic rockets will be fired shortly thereafter. And when the armed forces of the East, uh, they will eventually move and forward into Western Europe and battles will take place in Mon Mongolia. And that terrible war, he was shown a map of Russia surrounded by flashes of fire. And it says hotbeds blazed in the Caucasus in Central Asia, in the Baltics and throughout the Far East where China uh, becomes Russia's enemy. And that is why 200 million men would end up marching against uh, Vladimir. And the, the leader of Russia named Vladimir would end up releasing war upon Israel in Armageddon. And then there would be a devastating quakes all throughout the world. And this world will be brought into pieces. And so few people could survive. So we must hear the word of Elder Jonah, who was uh, predicted in 1912 that everything will start uh, with the neighboring state of Russia, which is smaller than the uh, Russian Federation. And this will take place and the military conflict, conf conflict will begin and it will end in a big wave that will scatter around the world, a tsunami of death and the Russian Tsar will rule the one who has a uh, total dictatorship. People of Ukraine, it is time to raise your hands to the Lord. Let the people of Russia think you are surrendering to them. If you do, uh, just praise the Lord because that The death toll in this is going to be astronomical. The Lord asks you to do opposite of what you have been doing, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Through prophecy, he is telling you, President Zelensky, you're mounting your horse on the wrong side. I don't fully know what that means, but I know this. He promises you will have many victories, and he will be with you, and he will have the back of the Ukraine, but he says, but many will die. And because many will die, I say, it is time to stand still and lay down your weapons. Resolve this and regroup. Come back at him stronger if necessary. But people of Ukraine, this is going no place but further south. And the, the death upon the continent 
is going to be so extraordinary. So I ask you all to pray. The answer is not going to be found in the, the bottom of a, a Molotov cocktail. It will be found in the bottom of a heart that is filled with love and compassion for brothers and sisters of other mothers because the people of Russia, they are Russian, and just as you are Russian, uh, you are brothers and cousins, and it is insane what is going on, but if people will not pass on prophecy, this is your greatest weapon to, to turn things around, because it points all fingers through the spirit totally at Russia, and if the people of Russia choose to become the mice, they will eat the cat, just as Rasputin has said. Amen.